Okay, the second show for quarter report, sales and report. Going to demonstrate the 3D pie chart. Uh, you're on your own on the on the line chart. Uh, of course, remembering that the the rules. One is that you know all charts start in column A. Of course, that's 98 percent of the time and 100 percent of the time for this class. But we need the mallards through teal here for the chart. And it's going to be a little tricky because the, the data that we need for the pie chart is over here in column E. I want a uh, total quarterly sales. To be able to go from column A to E without doing B, C, and D, you got to hold the control key down. That's the trick. Hold the control key down. Highlight the corresponding numbers. Now be sure when you do this that you have the same number. You got four over here and you got four totals over here. Uh, all right, once you've done that, then you can begin the pie chart. Click on the insert button. We're going to do pie. 3D pie. I'm going to choose just this one here. Okay, we got the uh, wheezy wig thing we talked about earlier. This is the, the one that we want. Layout one. Gives us the pieces of the pie and the percent of, of the pie. If I move this a little bit, you'll notice that they match the formula numbers that we got over here, and that's what you what you want. Of course, you need to give a, a title. Uh, total sales. Total sales for second quarter. Okay, now that's basically all you do for it. Uh, now this would be, if you left it like this, you could move it and put it down at the bottom to, for printing, but most of the time, remember, I want them to be on a new sheet, which means it's going to have its own tab. So you go to the, up here at the right where it says move chart location, click new sheet, 3D pie quarter sales. Kind of keep it a little short because it's a tab. Click OK. And it becomes a whole sheet. Of course, you'd print it out that way. If you look down at the bottom left, you'll see the months tab. And I uh, forgot to tell you in the other one, you do want to be sure that you put commas in, you know, in the totals over there. Make it. But you can see now you've got the, the various tabs at the bottom to look at. Okay, this is uh, what I expect from you when you make a pie chart. Be sure that you use where you have the name and the percent. You don't need legends with pie charts. Normally, if you've got enough room for the pieces of information to go in the slices, the only time you need a legend is when your slices are so small that the person can't tell which are the pieces of the pie. If you put a legend here, it'd be redundant. Okay, hope this helps.